Hey there, Linux fans! Are you looking for a lightweight, snappy desktop environment for your Linux setup? Well, today we're comparing two of the most popular lightweight Linux environments, XFCE and LXQE. Stick around as we explore their differences, similarities, and help you figure out which one is the right fit for your needs. XFC and LXQT are well known for being resource efficient, making them excellent choices for older hardware or anyone who just wants a simple and fast desktop experience. But they each have their own vibe and features. Let's start with their origins. First up, let's talk history. XFCE is the veteran here. It dates back to 1996 when it started as a clone of the Common Desktop Environment, or CDE, popular on Unix workstations back in the day. Over the years, XFCE has developed its own unique look and feel. On the other hand, LXQT is the newcomer. It was launched in 2013 as a continuation of the older LXDE project, with a key difference. LXQT uses the Qt toolkit, the same foundation as KDE, while XFCE is based on GTK, the same toolkit used by GNOME. So, think of XFCE and LXCT as lightweight, modular cousins of GNOME and KDE. Now, let's talk about how these desktops feel to use. XFCE leans towards a macOS-inspired layout, with a menu bar at the top and a dock at the bottom for quick access to apps. You can also customize it with different panels and even switch to the whisker menu for a more modern search-driven experience. On the other hand, LXQT feels a lot like Windows. The application menu is in the bottom left corner, just like the classic start menu, and it's designed to be familiar for Windows users transitioning to Linux. One neat feature in LXQT is the lock key indicators for caps lock, and NumLock super handy for laptops without those lights on the keyboard. Both desktops come with lightweight tools to handle basic tasks. For file management, XFCE uses Thuner, while LXQT has PCMNFM. Both are fast and let you browse your Linux file system without needing the terminal. They also offer terminal apps, XFCE, Terminal, and QTerminal, which support features like tabs and transparency. If you want more apps, you can always install them through your Linux distros package manager. Both desktops also have settings, managers to tweak themes, screen resolution, and more. XFCE has its Settings Manager, while LXQT uses the Configuration Center. They're simple, functional, and keep you out of configuration files. So, who should use XFCE or LXQT? Both are perfect for users with older or less powerful hardware but their design philosophies might appeal to different people. If you're a fan of Mac OS, Unix workstations, or older versions of GNOME, XFCE might feel like home. Meanwhile, if you're coming from Windows and prefer something familiar, LXQT could be the better choice. And since XFCE is slightly older, it's a bit more polished in terms of community support and overall stability, while LXQT is great if you prefer a QT-based environment or already use KDE apps. Good news, both desktops are widely supported. XFCE powers popular distros like Ubuntu and Linux Mint's XFCE Edition, while LXQT is featured in Lubuntu. You can also install them on non-default desktops like Debian, Arch, or any Linux system with a package manager. Want to try them out? Just install them on your current Linux setup or boot up a distro like Subuntu or Lubuntu, to experience them firsthand. So, which one are you leaning towards XFCE or LXQT? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Linux tips, tricks, and comparisons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.